Jeremiah. Good to see you, my friend. Scarecrow? Uh, I mean, uh, Jonathan? You called me... Scarecrow. I'll give it up trying to call you by your real name. You're too far gone into insanity. Oh, me? No. I just see the world for what it is. And now you're beginning to immerse yourself in my world as well. Soon, you will see. Soon, you will be free. If you say so, Scarecrow. Anyway, the name's the Stitches, please. This many? Yeah. Seems you need to complete your staff checks with a little more care. I mean, they weren't exactly hard to convince in my way of things. Well, I'll deal with them myself now. Ooh, feisty. Is it possible that finally Jeremiah is beginning to understand that the world is full of darkness and deceit? I've always known it, just never accepted it. Well, I'm glad that you're beginning to see things my way. Now, I believe you wanted a decent interview with myself. Well, I uh, wanted to know... Wanted to know what? I wanted to know if you ever wondered why the Batman does what he does. I believe he's a lost soul, just like everyone else in the difference is, I think he's done with being lost. And he is something new, something we villains hadn't anticipated. He caught us off guard and he punished us for it. He truly is, I hate to admit it, unstoppable. No. I don't agree with what he does. Really? Why is that? He can't just be something more. He has to abide by the rules. You can't just get away with being above the law. Well, I would agree about abiding the rules, but that would be hypocritical of me. At least you chose a side. He's half in the dark, half in the light. He's wrong. Now that, I agree with. Anyway, I'll leave it to your reading. Good night. You should have checked your folders more thoroughly, Jeremiah.